There are a lot of achievements in EU4, and some people have them all. I am not one of them, but I plan to be. So, I put all 166 achievements that I have remaining onto a random wheel that will decide my next campaign. For each campaign, I'll create a standalone highlight video or guide until I've become an EU4 completionist. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel and decide our next campaign. Friends of Egypt, I was... I was actually like, oh, that would be a fun one to do next, right before spinning this. So, uh, yeah, we'll do Prince of Egypt. Let's quickly go over the plan for this run. Part one of the plan, we will be consolidating our power in the Genoa trade node and completing the Tuscan mission tree. This will give us a bunch of permanent claims over northern Italy, which will let us get a huge power base and let the money flow that will help us conquest the rest of the land we need for this achievement. Part 2 of the plan is to invade Africa. We need to declare war on the Mamluks at some point during this campaign and take Cairo, as well as a few other provinces, in order to get Egyptian primary culture, which we will need to flip to in order to form Egypt. Before we get into the video, I want to address two quick things. The first is that this achievement will be broken into two parts because it is a longer achievement and it took a while to compile the highlights. The second thing is that I am closing on the business that I am purchasing, so I will have less time to play EU4, though I will try to get these achievement videos to you guys as quickly as I can do them. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the EU4 Completionist. Today, we'll be playing as Florence and forming the nation of EU4. Egypt. So let's just hop into the game and we'll go over kind of our plan for the run. Okay, so basically the plan for this run is we're going to try and consolidate our power base as much as we can in the Genoa trade node. If you look at the trade here, we are in the Genoa node with all three of our provinces. And the more money we have flowing into Genoa, which is objectively better than Venice, um, the better. We're going to focus dip because we can. Ven or not Venice. Florence's ruler is 655 and the election doesn't come up until 56. So if they don't die, that's fantastic. This is what we're going to be grabbing from the estates, the monthly Diplo power. Let's yank that. That'll save us from having to hire a level 2 advisor. So anyways, for our mission, we need to add a Diplo advisor. So let's have the Diplo rep. That'll help us get better allies. So we'll hire him. And that'll unlock our mission. So this will give us 25% improved relations and plus 1 Diplo relations for... 15 years. So that'll be good for getting some allies. So now let's look and see who will be our allies just off the bat. We need to have two Italian allies. So it looks like Mantua will be one and Saluzzo will be the other. We can always drop them if we feel like uh, they're not necessary. So we'll offer the alliance here. Offer the alliance here in one day. We'll let a day pass. There we go. Offer the alliance there, they accept, perfect, and we unlock the next mission. So this will give us some permanent claims on the Tuscany area. And uh, now we can declare war on any of these guys. We don't have claims on any of them of our allies, so we should be good. So we're just going to go down our mission tree until we can form Tuscany. We only need one of these two provinces and then to have Tech 10 in Admin. So we'll go ahead and form Tuscany. That gives us something to shoot for because we won't be able to actually form Egypt until we hit Tech 20. So this is going to be a longer campaign just because of that constraint in time. So we just need to get as much power as we can in Italy. And then uh, we'll start declaring war on the Mamluks. Let's go ahead and build three units, get to force limit. That'll uh, let us look a little bit stronger. And uh, maybe we'll get some better allies and we'll have a better chance at allying Poland or Castile. Okay, also pirates are probably going to come to Pisa. So let's protect trade in Genoa. And we'll send the rest of our ships to hunt pirates. We'll split off our cogs, actually. Hunt pirates in Genoa as well. Perfect. All right, let's uh, just speed it up until we can declare war in December. We have a perfect opportunity here. Bologna didn't actually get any um, allies. So we can just conquest them. And uh, we should be able to stack wipe them right away. And there it is. 4K gone. Movement speed. Leader trait, not bad. And... Yeah, let's join the trade league. That stinks. Backed by Austria and Genoa. Lovely. This is going to be the next war here. We'll be able to fight Milan, right? Maybe. Okay, we got the siege. Let's just take the land right away. You know, this early in the game, the free company is actually very valuable. I'm going to go ahead and build it. It'll get us over force limit, which will kind of stink. But um, we did get a lot of money from that war. 
And I think I'll be able to stack white Ferrara on this fort if um, I have enough units. And that will really actually put us pretty even with, uh, with Milan here, so. Okay, so Austria apparently wants to ally me for some reason. I don't know why they didn't want to before, but let's get a big Austrian ally. And uh, we'll start improving relations with them if we can. We have uh, quite a few Diplo relations that'll go down to four eventually. We have uh, a few more years of plus one Diplo relations, but we'll send one of these diplomats to improve with them. Let's try and stack wipe them. It is hills, so we'll take a penalty, but um, I did think we'll be able to beat them in this war. If we hold these hills, they can't do anything. We'll send nine men to siege this, and um, we'll have taking war score. Then we can occupy all these farmlands and grasslands, um, and then maybe even um, take some land from Milan. We'll maybe just pillage them. We'll see what we do with Milan, but uh, at the very least, we can get some money from them. They're pretty wealthy, but we get the stack wipe. Perfect. All right. At four, we'll sit here, and we'll send these guys here to siege down this level three fort. 14% siege. Feels good. Um, let's try and occupy as much as we can in Milan, and we'll try and piece them out separately for money. And we're going to win this fight. Take it alone, unfortunately, but... The farmlands fight, but we end up just kind of dominating them. They're fighting us again. Unfortunately, had to get off the siege to to back them up, but I mean, pretty gnarly fight on their part. And we stack wipe them. Oh, oh my gosh. War score. Holy cow. I wish I could get up here, but I can't. Now you want to peace out, guy. If I can just get war reps from you, I'd be happy. Okay, war reps, I can take a little bit of money as well. But frankly, that's good enough for me. I don't want to have to endure this war more than I have to. And then now Ferrara will peace out in two days. We'll uh, east them out, take both provinces, all the money I can get from them, send that demand, and uh, let's core them up. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody now attacks Milan because they have no army and they are poor after the war reps. All right, let's go ahead and state all of this up. Edicts the centralization. It'll start making us a little bit more money a little bit faster. So, very good, very good. Okay, so Naples is now independent due to the event. Aragon lately has been just letting them go because they don't want to take the uh, legitimacy hit. So, let's send an alliance offer to them. We have the option to no CB somebody, but I don't think we're strong enough to fight the Mamluks anytime soon. So, we'll just play this game slow. This is good. So, Aragon took out some debt. And they won't join this war against Lucka. Uh, I can call in Saluzo for an extra 3k troops. Please, God, don't muck this up. Leave one unit here. Reinforce this as fast as we can. Battle State's coming in really quick. My ships. Stay there. Okay, we won that fight. Send these guys in this level 1 fort. We'll just leave these guys here to make sure they don't recruit more men. And we spawn the Renaissance. Let's go. That's huge for us. Yes, 300 power, 20 prestige, government reform progress. That's awesome. All right, it's January, which means we can take this on time here. 20% um, trade efficiency and corruption, innovativeness plus four. Very nice, very nice. Oh, very nice wall breach. I need to defend this stack. If they start marching off towards me, I need to get over here ASAP. This is going to fall before the Rome will. I'm surprised I'm actually able to call these guys to arms right now. They must have just got out of their war. That's very good for us. Okay, we get this province. Very nice. Um, maybe just stand here as a deterrent. Very good. These guys, we needed to go defend Rome because they're going to march right there. Never mind. It's good that you get these guys off the mountain fort. Okay, no money, just war reps. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I need to get, keep my strength up to fight Milan, because I'd like to fight them right now, if possible. Uh, we can hopefully call Austria in. Yeah, we can call Austria into this war, so that'll be good. Okay, Lucca is ours, and we take some money. That is in a state, I believe, that we have. So, um, let's just core that up right away. And we can't erase the Renaissance. Of course, we could just wait for it to come. There's no rush. Make sure to seize land while we're at peace, before I forget. Big ally in France. Let's just do that. Let's fight for Parma. We have the advantage. And let's declare the war. Okay. Um, attack 5. We'll have attack advantage here. They can't get to us. We're behind the fort. Build that. Upgrade the units. Wait for morale to tick up. We're just going to destroy them. It's not even going to be fair. This is a hills fort. Yeah. They're scared. They know I could beat them here. 
Help has arrived. Naples, please come in this war. Oh my goodness. You know what? This is what you get for giving me such a damn hard time. Really get war reps. And a little bit of money. No coalition. All right. There we go. Well, it looks like we're going to have a disaster here. I don't know what this actually is. I'm sure it's related to some kind of historical event in Florence, but the modifier of the vanities. Okay, so the disaster is fired. Um, we get two events pop-ups. Um, we get 60 points, gain corruption, lose tradition. Gain five tradition, lose 120 points. Let's gain some points. And the Medici's much flee the city. No choice here. But we get a 5-5-3, five, five, and that's not a bad ruler at all. And uh, we have the Millenarian Theocracy Tier 1 Government Reform gain some tradition. Okay, so we can go towards Theocracy or we can go towards Restoration of the Medici. I don't know which one would be better. Um, but regardless, we're going to get excommunicated here and we're going to lose papal influence. So the best thing to do, I think we'll take the tax and we'll dump these. And then uh, we'll take a click. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to declare war on Aragon, call in Austria, rush down Savoy, set or piece them out. And then try and take as much of this as we can. We have the option of taking everything for ourselves, or we have the option to release two subjects, Sicily as well as Sardinia. Let's do this. So I'm not going to give up my stab and become a theocracy. We're going to try to go back to the Medici and then uh, free stab from this. Perfect. We're sitting at three. Cosimo's back. Okay. Wow, look at that chunk they took out of Aragon. Oh my god. Let's finally embrace the institution. I don't want to wait for it to spread. Let's just do that because we can afford it. And we unlock the mission. The yearly prestige and advisor cost for 15 years. Very good. We can constrict the Mona Lisa if we have some advisors of level 3. We can get some ducats in exchange for inflation reduction. As well as we can have a Republican tradition of 90 or 100 Abin. I want to go for economic. I want the dev cost reduction. And then after that, we'll go for quantity. Or we can do it the other way around. Quantity into economic. Quite frankly, quantity first seems like a good idea, considering we're behind on admin. Quantity first. The Shadow Kingdom has happened to us. So let's uh, keep the Empire for 20 prestige. Or we can leave the Empire. And um, Oscar doesn't like us, so... Just leave the Empire. I don't really want to be in the Empire. We're still buddy-buddy with them, so... We've been improving relations in anticipation of this. War reps, trade power. We'll release Sardinia and we'll release Sicily. Okay, so we have um, some subjects. Let's take strong duchies for two more Diplo relations. And we'll use this to get rid of Aragon's alliance with the French. Reset our troops to the Aragonese and we'll go back in on them in five years. So let's try and rush them down. All right, white piece, you. Okay, we'll take Nice and War Reps and just peace out as soon as we can here. Can we get any money? 50, 70, 90 ducats too. Oh, I was supposed to um, give France land. Whoopsies, did not mean to do that. Yeah, they don't not like me right now. All right, favors for trust, favors for trust. I'm so sorry, France, I can't believe I forgot. We could do claims bordering claims or we could do aggressive expansion impact. I want the AE impact. Um, that's just really valuable in Italy. So that's what we're going for. Again, I want a monarchy, so I'm going to keep trying to tank my Republican tradition. Um, let's do that. And now we get our idea and attack cost discount minus 10%. Feels good, man. Okay, and they take a huge fight and they lose it. Nice. Oh, and Aragon took land here. Ooh, okay. And Syracuse as the war goal. Okay, you go here. I want to piece them out as fast as possible. Boyans are trapped here. Little stack wipe. These hills. We get the month tick. Good victory for us. Very good victory for us. And that's another stack wipe. Nice. Okay, Savoy, money and war ups again, please. Please and thank you. Okay, there's a bit of border gore here, but I think I'm going to take all of their land in Italy. Uh, Naples will probably eventually uh, will break alliance with them. And, um, yeah, this Reconquest plus some land in Italy, I think it's fairly strong. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Naples broke their alliance with us. Okay. Okay, next idea group. 
You already know it. We're meta slaves here. We're playing a tall campaign. That dev cost reduction is pretty insane. Um, can't focus this for several years. So I guess we're just going to have to uh, save up our admin. Again, let's keep re-electing our current leader. Eventually, if we tank this far enough, we'll become a monarchy. Um, he keeps getting better, which is good. Okay, so Saluzo, our longtime ally, we're finally strong enough to uh, have them accept vassalization. So that was, a, I guess, a long-term play allying them early on. I figured that might be the case with these small Italian miners. So Saluzo, that's 11 free dev that we basically picked up for free. 10 years, we can integrate them. We already have an adjacent province, so it makes it easier. We are super ahead on dip two, and it's been 10 years since we released Sicily. Let's go ahead and start the annexation of them. We are really ahead on the dip, so. Okay, so here's the thought. Um, we're not doing anything for wars. We have the coalition, and it's really bugging the crap out of me. France will not join a war against Naples. Our truce has expired with them. We can declare war on them. No big deal. So, since Milan is in the coalition, us fighting them in a war will take them out of that coalition because we'll have a truce with them after we beat them in the war, which means the coalition will dismantle and then we can go and attack Genoa after feeding these two provinces to our vassal that we are integrating. Um, and yeah, this is, I think, the way to go. So let's set the war goal as Salerno and head down to Naples here. We'll try and piece Milan out as fast as possible, get some money and more reps from them, and call it a day. Let's stop building the spy network just yet. So let's uh, wait for this diplomat to come back and we'll declare the war. Okay, Sicily will core these up, hopefully. And then um, I'll just integrate them whenever this finishes. And let's begin. This war was mostly for Siena. Oh, I suppose. In a few months, we'll just do it. Only person that really affects is Switzerland. I get four dev in the capital. Sure, let's do that. Okay. That war served its purpose. We have Siena now. That's the full state. Um, now we just need this province for a mission, and then we'll get more claims on this area right here. So, yeah, let's just do our mission tree. So our coalition is actually looking pretty big right now. We've gone ahead and we've allied a few other nations, Brandenburg and Switzerland. Hopefully everybody will uh, will back me up if the, if the coalition dows. All right, well, the uh, coalition dowed, so... Um, and that 10 stack is definitely gone, so... There we go, instant stack wipe. They were not ready for this war to be declared. Once Rome falls, we'll go and uh, try and fight some more battles. Very good job, France. Very good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're running away. They're scared. Come on, Frenchies. Four war score. Nice. And uh, we do a little 1k stack wipe. Perfect. Three war score for that little 1k stack wipe. Feels good. Okay, so truce expired with Genoa. They will join a coalition with me. Um, and uh, they're still allied to France, so because France is in this war with me, they won't join. We're head on mill, even though we're doing a mill idea. We're going to barrage this fort. Here we go. Fight them on the hills fort. Defensive terrain. Here we go. Stack wiped. President, dictator, government reform. Finally, that's what I've been waiting for. All right, well, I can piece them out for this. Maybe a little bit of money. Okay. So I just take Genoa here then. I don't want to do both. That's just so much AE. War reparations. Send it. Left the Empire. 177. How did it go up from 80 to 177? And integration. A slow process. We're looking a lot thicker right now. We have enough to claim Tunis itself. Which is the center of trade. And we could declare war on them. <gasps> they have no allies. Ooh. Ooh. We could spend some of our dip. And we can get a power base against the Sunnis. Okay, let's take Tunis. They have zero men because they're in the war with the Ottomans. All right, Capital, you go there. Shoot, let's just do it. How much dip is this costing me? 153? We can pay that. Okay, let's send the peace deal. Florentine Maghreb. Very nice. With that... We are a great power. We are number eight great power on the list. There's the update. Eighth ranked great power. Impressive. I need to fight everyone when my truce comes up. I really wish I had another diplomat. 
It'll be really helpful. I think uh, we're gonna have to try and finish this mission and this mission and then this mission to get that diplomat until the end of the game. But first we need to become the Korea controller. We can pass this to get interest per annum minus 0.5 and state minutes minus 3% until the end of the game. Very good modifiers. National Bank, you'd love to see this one. The French just siege down Naples and peace them out. The Castilians are in a unification war. If I can stop them from getting enough war score, I might be able to keep them from getting the Union. So... We have to go. We have to hurry. They need to take the capital. Okay. Super good. Managed to stop Castile from taking this as a Union. France better not break alliance with me if they lose this war. They're going to lose to Austria. That's so crappy. Ooh. All right. We are now a monarchy. So let's take this, this, this. Let's take admin policies and very good. Possible. How old are you? 43. For my relations. Five of six. Yep. Great. Royal marrying Denmark. Looming disaster. Civil war. How do I stop this? Legitimacy needs to go up. Okay. Alright. In this war, I could take... Everything. 100% peace. Of course, that would cause a massive coalition that I would die from. But I could take it, theoretically. That's manageable. Alright. For the mission... Upgrade the artist to level 3. Tech cost and idea cost minus 10-5% for 15 years. Very good. Get some prestige. I could use that to placate for now. Let's placate these guys. Prestige. I wish they'd be the Papal Controller. And um, that'll allow us to get a diplomat for the end of the game. That's really strong. So our consort and our heir are pretty solid. Excited about that. Every month, this will claim strength. will keep going up. And uh, yeah, we're going to start getting legitimacy again. Thank God. All right, let's finish our military idea group here. That's really going to be nice. Land force limit plus 50%. Absolutely crazy modifiers. Let's ally Denmark here. Um, they just integrated Norway, so they're pretty strong. That'll help keep any coalition from dowing me, probably. I need to become the next pope. I mean, it's gotta happen. I want that extra diplomat. Oh my god, I didn't even realize Spain pieced out, or Castile pieced out. So these guys aren't a uh, union of them. My strategy worked! Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's really good. So when this truce expires, I'm gonna go in on them. I need to start building claims on these guys ASAP. That's so nice. Dude... France. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guy. I can't fight Castile. Nice. We are the Papal Controller. It means we can finally pass our mission. That's so good. All right. Golden Bull. Dev cost. That's good. This will also help us with our unrest in Tunis. So that's pretty solid. Grab that. Special relationship with our country. Don't know what that means, but I like it. 90 prestige. Oh, I need to get some prestige. Shoot. Uh, let's see. He's claiming this. He's claiming Corsica. I'm claiming this. We could feed our vassals here. Let's go to war in a day. Here we go. And fight! Riddle Minister. Ooh, prestige. <gasps> Ooh, prestige! Guys, you know what that means. Academy of Brand. Plus one diplomat till the end of the game. And Prestige Decay. That's pretty solid. Yeah, let's just do that. Here's a fun tip. If you accept a peace office offer from a nation that they send you, you take, I believe, half of the aggressive expansion. Um, they're giving us this one province, which is the main reason we declared the war. We can always come back for the rest of this stuff. But yeah, they're giving us everything we wanted, plus the province at less AE. So I think we're just going to accept the peace offer here. Make sure we're upgrading centers of trade to try and increase our money in Genoa. It is about damn time. Protestant Reformation has finally spawned. It has spawned at 130% reform desire. Okay, so Genoa gets eaten by Savoy. 
And we don't have a truce with Savoy, so we're going to stop drilling and we're going to attack them. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Once they finish the siege, I'll send them down to Morocco. How's your re- Oh my god. Guys, guys, guys. In Morocco right here is... No, 101%. Oh, it's not going to work. Shoot. Okay, wait. Um... It will work, because we're going to go into the next age, and I'm going to grab the war score cost versus other religions. That'll make that closer to 80%, and then we can force vassalize them in the next age. We just need to get a claim on them now. That's the play. Okay, next age, force vassalize them. Alright, so we have 100% on Tunis. Let's grab what we wanted. Put a little bit less money and take war reps, too. That's 100%. And no one seems to care. Nice. Okay, so let's concentrate here. And here. And let's core all of it up. From Savoy, we're going to take these two provinces. Money and war reps. We're actually going to give this one over to Saluzo. I don't want to core it myself. So let's go ahead and... Grant them this. 1.3, 1.4 has come out and uh, left the Empire. That modifier should have gone away. Uh, instead, it went from whatever it was, 58 or something like that, to negative 200 penalty with Austria. Um, they fixed that bug in the latest patch, and now it will decline at four yearly. So hopefully that means Austria will no longer be a coalition threat. Um, that's that's a hopeful. We're going to try and not, not have them hate us, and we might actually try and ally them if they eventually... Stop being pissed at us for no reason, thanks to that bug. Well, glad that's fixed. All right, we can claim this, and we can claim this. Yeah, we have the claim. Let's go to war. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That's so bad. Oh, God, please no. Okay, um, we're going to pay and pray. Oh, oh, my gosh. Heart attack! Our air is actually really good. Oh my. Okay. Woo. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Stay tuned for the release of the second part of this video. That should come out in a few days at most. As always, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.